Hi guys, David here. In today's video, we're gonna talk about using GarageBand for the iPad Pro uh, for doing voiceovers. Recently, I've been looking at using the iPad Pro for video editing and doing some voiceovers and things because I have uh, an iMac, it's about 10 years old, and it's really due for an upgrade, but I just didn't want to spend the money um, on an iMac like that. Uh, so I was looking at, a lot of people were saying that they were having really good results with using the iPad Pro uh, for video editing. So I wanted to check that out because even if I'm like going, going away, I wanted it to be fairly light, lightweight. I can throw that in my bag um, and not have to worry too much uh, about it. And it's a lot cheaper than, you know, going with a, you know, a MacBook Pro or something like that. Because uh, you can get, you know, iPad uh, Pro for, you know, around $1,000 um, to start. Um, so that's what I went with. I went with a iPad Pro 12 inch. So I'm using a few different apps. So I'm using GarageBand. I downloaded a um, another app that's around $14 uh, to do a lot of, you know, getting rid of a lot of background noise because I was getting uh, a good bit of background noise because behind me, um, behind this window, there's a road here and there's a lot of cars driving, driving by. Uh, there were some construction workers back there. Also, my wife works from home and she's on the, on the phone constantly. And basically I had the, her door closed. I had my door closed here and I was still getting a lot of background noise. So I wanted to see if I can, uh, you know, filter that out with another app. So I'm using, like I said, I'm using GarageBand. I'm using uh, another app for um, the background noise. And then I'm using, uh, for my video editing, LumaFusion for my video editing. Cause on my iMac I was doing, I use uh, Final Cut Pro X. Uh, so I was looking at uh, doing something with the iPad Pro. So I've been, you know, testing it out with uh, LumaFusion and I've been getting really great results with that. So um, so let's go head over to uh, my iPad and I'll show you pretty much what I'm doing with GarageBand and the other app I'm using for, you know, getting rid of background noise. Uh, so if you're thinking about using, um, you know, the iPad Pro for voiceovers and things like that, uh, like me, then maybe this will help you out. I'll just show you what I'm using uh, currently. Okay, so first we're going to go into GarageBand. Um, so I'm going to create a new song. And then I'm going to go in here. And then I'm going to use voice. And then right now, it always uh, goes to lead vocals. And I'm just going to change that to narrator and hit done. Um, and then up here, I always have an issue when I start recording it. It'll only record for like eight bars. So I need to go over here and hit the plus sign and then go to automatic. That's done. And then... I also have a metronome. I'm going to turn that off. And we should be good to go. So I'm going to go and hit record. Hi guys, David here. And in today's video, we are going to check out the garage band. Um, I just want to see what uh, the background noise is. You're probably going to hear some background noise of the cars going by on the road over here. And I'm going to pause for just a quick second. Okay, now that was the reason for that was just to uh, get a lot of the background noise so I can try to edit out the background noise if I uh, needed to. So that is the test and we are going to stop recording in GarageBand. Okay, now we have that. I'm going to hit play. Hi guys, David here, and in today's video, we are going to check out the garage band. Um, I just want to see what uh, the background noise is. You're probably going to hear some background noise of the cars going by on the road over here. And I'm going to pause for just a quick second. 
Okay, so we have that. That's all done. And then once you're done, then you're just going to hit this little uh, notepad, uh, piece of paper. I'm going to click on that. And then it's going to save it in uh, our files. And then I'm going to press and hold because I want to export that file. So I'm going to go to share. I'm going to go to song. And then I usually just keep it at high quality. Um, it usually should be pretty good for what I'm using it for. Uh, if you need to, you can always go a little bit higher. And then I'm going to hit share. Okay, now it's sharing. And then I can do open in. Uh, or I can do, here, let me see. There's should be another one. Okay, right here. I'm using this thing. It's called, uh, I'm not even sure how to pronounce it, but Bruce Bree, I think is what it is. Um, so I would just go there. I'm going to copy to that. Okay, now it's going to export that song. And it's going to open up uh, this this one. Because I, I, like I said, this one's like $14.99. Um, I was hearing some really good reviews about it. Um, so then uh, when you do that, um, then you can hit play. I'm going to hit play here. Hi guys, David here. And in today's video, we are going to check out the... Okay, so did you hear that? Hi guys, David here, and in today's video, we are going to check out the Garage Band. Um, I just want to see what. Okay, so when it's in this software, there is a you know that they say to make like a space, uh, just so it can hear the background noise. Um, so once you get to that point, we are going to press and hold this ear. You don't want to press and hold it while you're talking. You just want that gap of. Uh, the background noise. So let's we're going to do that right now. I'm going to actually forward it to that point. And I'm going to pause for just a quick second. Okay, so when you do that, um, you're just basically pressing and holding that for that space. And then after you're done, then you just let it go. But you want to let go before uh, you start speaking again because it just wants to gather up the information and uh, know where it's supposed to remove that background noise. Um, so, and the reason I just also want to tell you that the reason I was doing this is because I was I was recording with GarageBand and I was having all these types of noises with cars going by uh, because I'm close to a road. Uh, my wife is actually in the next room. Uh, she works from home, so she's there and she does a lot of phone calls. I have, you know, her door closed. I have my door to the studio here closed, but I was getting, uh, because this, the hype mic that I'm using is, you know, it's really good and nice and clear, but it picks up, you know, noise all around you. It's not just directional, which I would really, I was thinking about getting uh, something directional. Uh, so I don't have to worry about a lot of the background noise, but since, you know, I have this, I just wanted to see if I can, uh, use it and see what I can do to fix the background noise um, since I have noise you know coming all all around from her room to the road over here and we got some construction workers actually outside this window um, so that's why I was looking at something else and this app here is like $14.99 and GarageBand was free at, you know so I had that uh, using that so Okay, so I recorded a file of background noise so you can hear the you know road with the cars going by and just show you the difference between you know just recording it like that and using the Bruce Bree uh, app here on the iPad. So so let me just go ahead and we're gonna play it uh, just so you can hear the difference. So here's the background noise. Okay, so now I'm going to uh, show you what it sounds like without.
Okay, now I'm going to uh, turn it on and off just so you can see the difference. So we're going to go ahead and play. Now off. On. Back off. Okay, so there you can see the difference. It's such a big difference between, you know, not using anything for the background because I'm getting a lot of background noise. Um, so this is, you know, works great um, just by using the standard settings. I'm not even actually going into any filters or anything like that. It, it just works really well. Yeah, I just wanted to create this video showing it to you. Uh, maybe that's it's something that you're looking for because I like the idea of just having my iPad uh, I can use GarageBand to record my voiceovers, and then I can use Bruce Free to remove background noise for that. And then once I'm done, I can just hit this export, and then I can export it to, you know, as a wave, AIF, MP4. Um, I wish it would, you know, just export it as an M MP3 uh, in case I needed to, but um, I can just export it as M MP4, and then I can just change the name. Um, I'm just going to put out, output tests. So. And then we'll hit save. It's going to render that file. Okay, it rendered that file, and you can copy it. You can put it wherever you want. So once it renders that file, then it can, it'll can it tell you, you know, it wants to know where you want to put it there. I will actually just put it in my files. And then I'm just going to keep it for now. I'm just going to keep it in the GarageBand file, transfer, and then hit save. And then that's all we need uh, for that. So then if you're using, like I'm for the iPad Pro, I'm actually using Luma Fusion. I was for my desktop, I was using Final Cut Pro. X, um, but I can do everything from my iPad now uh, with um, those three different apps for video. So I hope that helps. If you have any questions, you can put them in the comments below. And uh, we will see you guys in the next video.